Hi guys. In my previous video, um, I showed that the uh, the custom Lenovo SATA power and data cable uh, that connects to the motherboard, um, it develops a short over time, either from uh, a poor manufacturing process or poor choice of metals or or whatever it is, but uh, but in any case, the cable shorts out, and that causes the dreaded click of death uh, on the machine, where it just the speakers just go tick 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 when you power it on. Um, so what I've done to fix this machine is instead of buying a replacement cable harness, which you can find on Amazon, and I did link to those in my previous video, um, but in, instead of spending the fifteen, twenty, twenty-five bucks on the cable harness, um, I had a set of power cable laying around, and so I just cut the end of Lenovo's cable off here. As you can see, I just cut the, um, I just cut their end off and I soldered a standard SATA power cable on here. That's this right here. Um, and you only need four wires. You only need the two black uh, grounds and then the yellow is the 12 volt and the red is the 5 volt. Um, you just match color to color on the cables as I've done here. And then on this cable there's also a gray lead that comes out on this connector. Um, on many others, uh, it's orange. Uh, that's the 3.3 volt DC supply. Uh, most hard drives don't need that. You don't need to connect it. And the motherboard doesn't actually supply it, as you can see here. This this is the original connector uh, that was on the, uh, on the old cable. And I'm just preserving that to make my new cable over here. And then I used a regular SATA um, data cable. Uh, to connect from the drive to the motherboard. I also, as you can see in the process, switched from the standard um, one terabyte hard disk that came with these machines. I've now switched it to 120 gig uh, SSD. I don't need that much disk space on these machines, so 120 gig is fine for me. Almost everything I have, I keep on network attached storage. Uh, don't keep really anything but the operating system and my applications on the machine. Uh, so it doesn't really require that much, uh, especially for the for the purpose of this machine in my use. So anyway, uh, that's what I've done. I've already powered it up. It works a treat. It's perfect. It boots fine, works fine, and uh, everything's back to normal. And I got a working C540 again. So now it's just time to put the covers on it and uh, tilt it up and use it. All right. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Uh, more likely my previous video, which explains more, has been really helpful. So I've linked to that in this video as well. Uh, Please give me a like if, uh, if this is helpful, and uh, thanks very much.